All right, well, should we move on and do this massive story in the Daily Mail, Paul? We should do. How, how did Kate photo become an PR disaster? So, of course, if you don't know, you've probably been in uh, sleep all day or been in a coma. But uh, the Princess of Wales issued an extraordinary mea culpa yesterday after admitting she edited an image showing her celebrating Mother's Day with her children. Now, we've all seen it. And if you ever want to test the mental health of the UK... <laughs> <laughs> put a royal story in front of them yeah. and watch how they react on social media. Because it's, I mean, whether you, whether you, this isn't going to change anyone's view on Kate. This isn't going to change anyone's view on the royal family. The people that dislike it will dislike it further. The people who like it will protect it. At the end of the day, for me, this is just like a family, who, a, a woman who is, who is clearly been unwell this year, taken a... Uh, a photograph of family, not been entirely happy with it, uh, mm. manipulated it in some way, and now is under an incredible amount of pressure. It's a, it's a non-story. Yeah, the really good news is that the uh, princess doesn't actually have a partially invisible arm, because that's what I was worried about, <laughs> that her arm is intact. It was just a dodgy bit of Photoshop, Steve. What do you think of this ongoing conspiracy? It's... I know you're big on conspiracy. Oh, yeah, I love them. Uh, this is the most ridiculous story ever, isn't it? I mean, look, yes, it was edited. You can look at that picture, you know it's edited. You also look at it and know that it wasn't created by Google's Gemini AI. Right. <laughs> come out too many white people. people. Too many, too many for that picture. Um, and it, it's caused such a scandal. The international press agencies had to redact it, or they, they call it a kill notice. The last time I heard a kill notice was ordered on a princess. Wait a minute, I'm being told I can't finish that joke. <laughs> right. um, but no, I don't know why we're so obsessed. It is nothing other than... When did you get that earpiece? Uh, no, it's... <laughs> <laughs> no, just the voices. Okay. Just the voices in my head. It's the BBC. It's my training. <laughs> Remember your training, Steve. Don't do that joke. Um, no, it's, I don't know why people are so obsessed. I know it's part of a, a bigger story. Kate goes missing, and that's not goes missing. That's simply they announced she'd have some surgery. She'd be out of work and not visible for three months. It's still within the three months. But people think we've got a right to see them all the time. Just because we yeah. fund them, you don't own 24-7 of their life. She's still not visible in the photo, but just the yeah. fingers. But, I mean, I was, I'm worried, though, about, you know, our, our beloved princess. Everyone loves uh, the Princess of Wales. It's the princess we actually like, not the other one. And, and then, you know, I'm worried about her health. I mean, are you concerned? I mean, why? Because if, if she was fine, presumably, she'd just come out and do a quick video, hey, I'm actually all right, soz about the photo. But she's recovering from some surgery. I don't yeah. think we have a right to know what it is. I mean, yeah, even I sit around thinking, like, what kind of abdominal surgery could be that? scandalous that this story's happened. I've no, I, I don't even know what it could be. I, like, breast implants lower than they should be. She's now got four. <laughs> if that's the story, then maybe four. I understand why they've you know, gone for a hiding thing. But we don't have the right to know. No, I see it. that point. And did you think there was something in the fact that she's taken the blame for this? One, I heard one suggestion that probably this is a staff member that's done it, but she has sort of nobly taken the blame. That is quite noble if it was a staff member. The idea that there's only one step between Kate's iPhone and the press is quite interesting because... That, that, I've got, got some info on that. If have you? If you really dig into it. Yeah. So they, they've looked at the metadata on the picture. It was taken by a Canon photo, and it's opened twice, or rather saved twice, in Adobe Photoshop. So it's not just like a little touch up on no. a phone. Someone's actually bothered to open it on a laptop or a desktop. Now, did they take the ring off, or did she not wear the ring? That's the big question. Ooh. Here. Yes, it is. Yeah, well, this, this conspiracy <laughs> will rumble on, I'm sure, on yeah. X.